Hey guys, so today I'm pretty excited because uh, these really very expensive bulbs right here came in the mail and I'm going to be talking about them a little bit. Now these are all from Zoomed. Uh, Zoomed is just where I use all my, or where I um, get all my UVB bulbs because it's just the one that generally comes up first and I've heard other people recommend it. And um, I also seem, I'd like to I mean, I trust Zoomed because I know it says Zoomed Labs. I know that they have labs. Like I, I, I watch the channel Camp Kennan, and he's been there. Like they actually have setups, um, and they do videos on Instagram from like th that. They have animals that they like. They actually take care of animals, so that's why I kind of um, really like Zoomed, and I'm really excited about this thing right here. Now, like I said, I watch Camp Kennan. He was talking about this, so that's how I found out about this. It's a um, self-ballasted um, mercury vapor UVB bulb. It has UVB and heat in the same thing, and the UVB goes up to um, about like uh, three feet, I think, which is just crazy. Um, considering like the tube lights, I think it's around 21 inches is how far the uh, UVB um, like can go. So uh, what's actually really cool is I've been um, doing a lot of research on these and you can actually go onto their website. I'll link it in the um, description and you can see which bulb is best for you. So it has uh, the types of animals that would enjoy certain distances from these lights to um, get the proper UVB you want. And it also talks about like what's like a dangerous, like the distance between each one. So it kind of helps you choose which bulb you want. So these, this is the um, Reptisun 10.0. And basically the, the thing about this is um, like it has it as 10.0, it has the pictures. The pictures are kind of confusing, I think. Um, this is very similar to the, um, oh, this is the mini. This is the F. Um, compact fluorescent mini compact fluorescent um, bulb so there's just a normal one there's also those that aren't compact and the 5.0 the one that's not compact is basically the same as this when it comes to um, like the distance that I'm looking for which is here I'll get out the piece of paper here um, it has a little chart on this so this bulb is really cool I'm trying to do this with one hand. It's kind of in here pretty good. Good. So this is, I don't know what self-ballasted means exactly, but this is a really big bulb, and it's going to be really hot and powerful. So it says on here, um, it has a little paper, and this is just like the um, website here. So it has like the different areas, but it's more, it has something like this but for every single bulb they have. So they even, this is the highest, um, like this is the, this is a new bulb, like a new, they're newly producing it, but it's, it's um, like the second highest, um, I guess heat and UVB bulb that you can get. There's another one, I forget what it's called, but it's like a whole nother thing. It's, it's pretty cool. Um, but this is what I want, the mostly full sunlight. Now on the um, website, it gives you examples of different things. So the moderate here is for like iguanas and turtles. So it's exactly what I want. So for the 160 watt bulb, and the reason that I'm really excited about this is this really doesn't make a whole lot of sense for this enclosure because this enclosure isn't that tall. So when I set this up, I'm going to have to set it up like over here where he can't actually get under it because it could actually hurt him um, to be like here. So if it's in within seven inches of this bulb, it's dangerous for any animal. So um, that's why this one, this one has like a green iguana, which is more of a tropical species, a um, tortoise, which is, I don't know what type of tortoise that is, I'm sorry. Um, and then a bearded dragon. So it has... It has pictures of everything, um, uh, of like both dry and uh, tropical species, and I think that's something that's kind of confusing about these lights. Um, if you don't really know a whole lot 
about these lights or UVB and stuff, then it's kind of deceiving that they have it. That makes it, it has, it literally says desert, but it's, it's, um, it's very similar to the 5.0. It just has more of this range, the high, which is more of like desert species. Um, and then the minimum right here, that's more like crepuscular species. So like leopard geckos and crested geckos and things like that. So it kind of just depends on what you have, but it's very helpful on their website. Um, they have it, but again, this is, I just buy from this. So um, I just find it pretty cool. I don't know if other, um, other, uh, I don't actually know what other um, brands produce the uh, produce UVB bulbs and uh, what kind of things they have or if they have something like this, but I find this really, really helpful. So I'm gonna be installing this. Like I said, I'm gonna have to install it for now. It'll be like quite far away, but what I need to make sure is that I have at least um, like 16 inch space between him and the bulb. So when I set up his new enclosure, the bulb will be like way up there and then I'll make sure I'll have like 16 inches of space and then his basking area so then he can get really good UVB right in his basking area. But the great thing is, is it keeps going down um, all the way there. And I'd like to, I can't, on this piece of paper, I can't compare it to his um, bulb now, but what I'm gonna be doing is his UVB right now, um, it's, it's right here. This is his UVB light. So this is a UVB light, um, a, a tube light and he's kind of freaking out here. And then this is a heat light. Now this heat light is just um, a normal, like, well, I say normal, n not normal for uh, most people, I guess. It's just like what you'd use for a, um, like chicks or baby ducks or stuff like that. Um, that that it's bought from Rural King. So it's, it's just like uh, that type of bulb that it's just a normal heat bulb uh so i don't buy them from a pet store because these ones are like um three bucks or something like, or uh maybe five dollars they're they're really cheap and they work really well and that's what i use for heat for all my animals um i probably should buy lower wattage though because uh the iguana really likes it as you can see but uh, most of the other animals it's kind of too much heat so that's the really cool thing about this now it is extremely expensive in my opinion all uvb lights um that i've bought are all like really expensive but um so i was going to talk about this real quick so the reason i got this is um i got these two things is because the this section right here the moderate which is what i want is about six inches away from this bulb so with a 5.0, a um, mini compact fluorescent 5.0 Reptisun, it's about five inches away. So that doesn't seem like a whole lot, but it, it just helps me um, be like, I know they're not gonna sit five inches away. So this just helps me a little bit. The, um, the not compact ones are just a whole lot more expensive than these, like almost double the price. So that's why I got these. And then if I'm ever, if I just need to, um, set up a turtle in, in a pickle or something, uh, got a new turtle or something, uh, so, since I generally do take rest, or any animal that I get are rescues, I generally don't um, plan ahead before I get them. So I just make sure I have everything. So I have extra tubs, those types of things. I have like a ton of them, um, extra, extra filters. And then I have two of these bulbs. One's gonna be used for um, PD here. And I'll explain um, why the expensive bulbs are very, very, very much worth it um, in this. And this also has a warranty. So I I've, I read the reviews. They're not great. So I'll um, probably in a year or so, I'll do a review on this. And if it ends up going out, then I'm not going to be very happy. But a lot of people said it does normally um, like stop working within like six months. So uh I'm gonna. I'm not saying buy it now. That's not what I'm saying. These ones work well. I've been using them for a long time. Um, so sadly, I, I don't have a radometer. I think it is that measures UVB. Um, uh, Zoomed also sells those, but those are extremely expensive. Like um, they're very, they're a lot of money. And um, if I was breeding reptiles or if I was producing reptiles, then yeah, I'd probably have one of those because. 
um, that would be very important. But since I just keep a couple of animals around, um, I'm not, I, I'm not, I can't, I'm, I don't have the money to buy one of those or, um, not right now anyway, maybe in the future. So here, I'm going to talk about this. So here's his tank. Um, and he is not in here, but he's currently, um, dry docking. I guess it's called. It's where he's not in water. And the reason is, is because he has um, shell rot on the bottom of his shell. Now, that wasn't for me. He's actually been healing since I got him, but I finally took him to the vet. And right now he's in this little container. I'll be doing a video about him. Um, but the vet visit was about $155, okay? That's a lot of money. Um, that's enough, I think for me to go out and just buy a brand new 55 gallon, which is um, not something that I would do with $150, but um, that's a lot of money. That's enough to build um, uh, like awesome setups like this and this and just um, do really cool things. And you don't wanna be spending that at the vet rather than um, making awesome terrariums and stuff like that. Uh, that's just my opinion there. But um, basically what I'm saying is spend the money that, um, this is expensive, but compared to that, not at all. So spend the money now, so then you don't have to deal with it later. And that's why I'm willing to buy um, this. This bulb was, uh, I think $55. That's what I'm gonna go with, 54, 56, something around there. That's why I'm willing to buy that because um, there's no way in, anything that I want to take um, Charlie to the vet because while I have been working with him and getting him out and stuff which is really really cool just the last few days um, he's been willing to kind of come out with me and um, uh, eat on my hand and stuff he uh, don't want to have to take him to the vet that'd be that'd be a very very bad experience I think um, just for him uh, very stressful and I don't want to go backward with taming him so um, that's kind of my point with this. I, I'll, again, I'll update you in a while after using this and see how it works, but I, I found that website and I thought it was really cool. And, um, yeah, and I'll also do, there'll be a separate video on PD and his whole situation there. Um, so don't worry about that. He's currently eating. He has to be in a tub to eat and then he'll be back under the UVB. So I'll put this UVB I don't know how many inches that is, but right now I have one of these lights. Like I said, I should probably be buying um, uh, ones with less wattage. What happened is I bought four, like two of them were like 250 watt or something, and then two of them were like 150 watt or something. And I threw away the um, the containers that they came in or not the containers but the boxes they came in so I don't know which ones are which so um he's not too hot in here I'll, I'll be sure to uh, I have my temperature gun I'll be reading around here to make sure he's all good but basically he's not going to be sitting directly under it so I wanted to have this um so then when he's you know like around the edge getting the proper UV he'll be getting the proper UVB and um the proper heat and everything and I think this I don't actually know when this UVB was um, this UVB bulb which is just a 5.0 when I started using it so um, it's very important to keep proper notes on that when you start using it when you stop using it so then you can get um, then you don't have to throw them away early because or you're not using them for too long they're supposed to be replaced about every uh six to twelve months um but uvb is actually an invisible light it's ultraviolet light you don't actually see it so um the light that the light is producing isn't uvb uvb is a separate thing um so the light the actual light that you see won't necessarily go out but that doesn't mean that the uvb levels have gone way down so this is another reason why having a uh, radometer, I could be saying that wrong, I'm not sure, um, would be really helpful because then you could see when um, the light is slowly stopping. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change these lights out. So the lights are off right now, but so far this one, um, this is the uh, $55, the power sun bulb. 
um, both heat and UVB, and it uh, it doesn't produce actually a whole lot of heat, which is kind of disappointing, and um, it's been kind of iffy, so it'll be interesting to see how that turns out, but again, I'll be doing a, um, uh, much later in the year, I'll be doing um, a more in-depth uh, look at this light after I've had it for a while, but we'll just see how it goes. And then the other light um, down there in uh, Petey's tank, it is just doing just fine, just like I said. Um, by the way, I don't, when I said I use those heat lights, I use them for my turtles and um, my iguana. So as you can see, I have one up there on the um, turtle tank. And I, like I said, I need to get a lower wattage. And um, I don't actually use any heating for my crust geckos. I just keep my room warm. And uh, the moderate light there is um, ideal for green iguanas and turtles. So uh, I also forgot to mention that. I said it was ideal for iguanas, but I didn't mention that it's also ideal for um, aquatic turtles. And then um, the lower the green one was better for um, leopard geckos and crested geckos so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like it down below if you have any comments or concerns put in the comments below and if you want more content then subscribe i'm going to be coming out with a um video about all the stuff you're seeing here uh very soon and the plans for 2020 besides a um light review later in the year uh so have a fantastic day